Hi everyone, welcome again to our nation of the Python. In this session, I will explain you about destructor in Python. So, first of all, we will have a look what is destructor, how we can use it, and why it is required in Python. Then, by using one example, I will show you how to create a destructor in Python. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's start with destructor in Python. So first of all, what is destructor? It is a program place that rule of reversing the operation performed by the constructor. If you don't know about the constructor, I will mention the constructor session you are in the description tab, you can watch it from there. So as I said, this program will reward or action which we have performed in constructor. But sometimes it is not needed. I will give you an example for that as well. But let's focus on destructor. So cleaning the object of the class that was created by the constructor program like any other object oriented programming language applied for the development of a system or web based application. Python also allows almost all the functional features detailed with classes and object. Destructors are primarily employed as a tidying method in the program as the way to organize the code and implement the coding standards. De destructors are defined with you can see by this way. So constructor or we can see default constructor are defined by this method and default destructor are defining by this method. Before the object is destroyed, we can do some final task as well. So just like take an example of any driving vehicle and at any point of time, if we have created a, or if we have deleted the code, engine object gets destroyed. So, first we would want to shut down the engine, then only our wheels are not spinning or any other activities are not performed like movement or pressing horn. So, if engine is closed, these all activities are not possible to perform. So, before cleaning the main part of or main program of engine, we need to focus on first close all the activities, then only it will destroy. So, considering that in mind, destroying an object with delete is an optional, we can create an ob object and never delete them. They are then only deleted when the program closes. So, at the end of program, we will run the destructor and delete so that it will clean up our memory or system memory. So, however, this can eat up a lot of memory in a large program. So, because of that, it is required to delete that. Generally, Python garbage collector, which is used to delete these type of cycles, reference would remove it. But in this case, when if, or in this example, the use of custom destructor marks this item as a uncollectible simply. It does not know the order in which to destroy the object. So, it will leave with them. So if we want to instance are involved in the circular references, they will live in memory for as long as the application is running. So, in a clear sense, whenever we want to destroy any object or classes, we need to make sure that that application program is completely closed. Let's see one example how we can create a destructor in Python programming language. So, I, as you can see here, I've already created one class with the name driver and declare here as a one constructor or created one here as a one constructor. So, let me print the value of or let me print one message here. So, inside the message, 
drive for activity is done is my first statement i don't want to write too much thing here because i just want to print one simple message so that it will make sure our constructor is printed after the constructor is printed then only destructor will work now next we will we have already created destructor here define delete and self so print here as a destructor call and driver activity is deleted okay so this message i want to print so that it will make sure we have call destructor as well so for this we need to call the object is created and constructor is called so that let's create one object here so i am creating here a object as a car equal to i am calling here as a class name so driver drive and then finally i am calling my actual contain so delete the above object this one so let's run this and see the result how it looks so as you can see here first it is printed message driver activity is done so first it call this constructor and then the next it is deleted the activity is it means whenever this message prints it means the destructor is destroyed the object so by this way we can create and delete so it will show up the constructor and destructor both are used in this program so let's recap this we have started with definition of destructor in python then we have discussed a in detail about their example how we can use it and what should not be done whenever any that program is running so that it will not close or kill complete program or the object next we have created one example and see the result first it will run constructor then it will run destructor so this is all about python destructor hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this video consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more update thank you for watching